Yes. Could you speak more loudly? Yes, inshallah. So, do you think the angels have feelings like divine love since they are Abdul without Shahwa? If yes, then they must have a heart without Shahwa. If no, then they are pure intellect. The problem with the Qalb is that it can acquire more light. The problem with? With, with the Qalb. Angels have love, but their life, love is not emotional. Their love is intellectual. Their love is free from changes and moods that we have in human love because it has no root in emotion. It's all coming from understanding something positive, something valuable, in the one that they love. So this is about their love. Whether they have heart or not, we normally don't use heart for the angels because heart is something which is changeable, has ups and downs. Sometimes it's open, sometimes it's closed. Galb comes from enqilab and taqallub, means transformation. In angels, we don't have such changes like human beings that sometimes you feel very happy, sometimes you feel sad, sometimes you feel your house is blocked, it has blockage, sometimes you think it's open, sometimes you know you have, uh, I don't know, good days and bad days in your heart. These are not applicable to angels. So, therefore, as far as I remember now, I don't think of any place that we attribute Qalb to Malak in the sense that we attribute to human beings. Ahsanta. Yeah, it's very important that um, we don't conf get confused between uh, arrogance and pride and having confidence. Because sometimes people think we should not be humble, we should be proud and arrogant because we want to have confidence. So what we need to le uh, teach children and make sure that they have learned is that they don't look at other people as their rivals so that either I rise or they rise so it's better I get rid of them or at least I wish that they drop no we should think of people that are traveling together and when someone is working well encourages other people there is a positive competition it's not negative competition negative competition is that each one has to get rid of the others positive competition is that at the same time that they compete but they help each other they give morale to each other they give support to each other so children have to learn how to be appreciating others how to be respectful to others how to have positive competition but no arrogance they should be humble so i think this needs lots of good conversation with them but also some activities that we have to plan there are some websites and institutions that have tried to come up with different practical trip, uh, practical tips for the traits of character. Like for example, if you want to be hopeful, you know, what should you do if you want to be truthful, you know. So this is what we have to do. Yes,
الآيات ولا تركنوا إلى الذين ظلموا فتمسكم النار. Yes. Do not incline towards those who do harm. Lest you be touched by fire. So few questions. What does it mean to incline towards the wrong ones? And then in which way can it be expressed? And what does it mean to be touched by fire? Tarkanu ila, you know, rock means pillar, something that you rely on. La tarkanu ila ladina zalamu, in my humble understanding, means don't rely on those who rejected faith. Because when you rely on them, is they have become your leaders and your guides you get your inspiration from them you get your energy from them if you do like this and these are kuffar and kafir means those who have rejected kafir is not a nice for example christian who is trying to devote himself to god kafir in the quran as we have said again and again in most of the places if there is no evidence against it means kufrul juhud so this is kafir. Zalim is again like kafir because this zulm is denial of rights and rights are great part of the truth. A zalim is denying and rejecting the truth which is there in the rights. If I do zulm to someone, I am in a sense a denier of the truth so those who don't do just one zone two zone they are alladina zalamu means you can say the main thing that they do is zone you know so zone is so obvious in their life zone is so obvious in their behavior and you know for example like pharaoh like namrud so, if you rely on these people who are doing zulm, means you are relying on zulm, then fire is going to touch you. Means you would not be far from fire. You are touched by fire. So, it's a matter of saying that your punishment is so uh, likely that you can say even it is uh, hundred percent happening of course Allah can override you know uh, but you deserve certainly punishment if you rely on Zalim if you do Toba or if Allah forgives that's another issue but of course Allah doesn't forgive without Tawbah, Shirk. And He does not forgive Shirk. Because Shirk is in Shirk is great Zulm or maybe the greatest. Or one of the greatest. But again, Shirk doesn't mean just not to believe. Shirk means something different. So, if someone is not mushrik, Allah may forgive even without Tawbah. With Tawbah, He forgives everything. Even He forgives Shirk. Because if the mushrik repents, Allah forgives him. So this is why in Baba Hadi Ash, we had this. Without Tawbah, even major sins might be forgiven except shirk with tawbah everything can be forgiven if you don't do major sins minor sins are also guaranteed to be forgiven